eight right now so that you can uh, type yourself if you type yourself then you will remember it or you will feel it how it is working or what are the things that you they are in the code okay so i'm just uh, writing words here again so that this word will print the content of words okay you can write you know inside print also that if as if this is the last line i'm not using that okay you can write print words okay now you can see the output it is splitted based on the white spaces and you can see everything is there and interestingly i can show you a few things uh, you can see you apostrophe r, apostrophe is r so it is not splitted right because there was no hot space okay then if you see this stop here before the stop we had a white space right so it is separated from the sentence as a word you can say but if you see this uh, last stop here it is not separated because there was no white space all right now with you know, doing this may not serve on all the time our purpose of uh, splitting the sentence. So what we can do, we can split based on word only, okay? <clears throat> or word, okay? So for that thing, what we have to do, there is a concept called regular expression, okay? So we have to import a package called RE. Import RE. RE stands for regular expression. I think uh, many of you know what is regular expression. Yeah. <laughs> Roughly, if I say it is the pattern based on what you can recognize that uh, what is what, right? Like say for email ID, I can tell you that it should be a string, then uh, at the rate, then some domain name. If something you find in this format, you can say this is email ID. Okay, so <laughs> you can understand, right? So this, what I, how I have described, that is nothing but regular expression I have told you. Now any anybody will come with a email ID, you can recognize. Okay, it is having some, uh, you know, string. Then at the rate is there, some domain name is there after that. So it is a email ID, like like that. Okay, so roughly I can uh, just explain. It in this way. So now, it is showing uh, showing errors. Line number three. If you type showing errors. Here, I am highlighting here. Yes, sir. Words equal to text. Uh, text mm -hmm. dot split print words. Yes. Yes. Print I think you have words. not done this. Import an LTK at the top. Once I have done it, is it, it is uh, it is run uh, run successfully. Run. Great. Run it. Then right. you check your uh, spelling of split. S P L I T parenthesis. Hmm. This is a function, okay? Oh, text dot split. Hmm. Yes. In print words in missing parenthesis in call to print. Oh, print words. <coughs> okay. Or you can uh, you can uh, do this uh, simply only okay, word you can just uh, run it, it will okay, show okay, you sir. but you can see what the difference okay if you do it like this it is a column okay but if you print it like this it will be printed as a row okay so okay so this is out of context for now okay so first what I am doing is I am uh, importing the regular expression package in Python, it is uh, named as RE, okay? Then, words, so words I have used once, so that variable I'm not overwriting, I'm writing words one equal to RE dot. Again, I will use the same split function, okay? But I will pass some regular expression to this. Okay, slash capital W. 
so in python writing regular expression is quite easy okay so what is the capital w capital w is uh, not a character not a character okay now if i give plus here it means not a sequence of character understand if you give a small w it will represent uh, alpha numerics either number or character or uh, underscore okay so there is a little different between capital w and small w so here i have written capital w please mind it okay comma what i have to pass i have to pass the sentence that is text right then i will print this words one all right run this okay so you can see right now what happened excuse me sir RS sir what is the significance of regular expression here when you are giving w capital w it means you want to split the sentence uh, into word based on non character that means wherever it will find a non character it will split understand so if you see you your you apostrophe is r was there this apostrophe is not a english character right or alphabet so as this is not alphabet it is split into u and r okay understand then space came space is not also a alphabet so it is again split flying understand sir it is telling text is not defined you run this uh, cell number 2 where text equal to you are flying on cloud number 9 this sentence is written. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. Sir, sir, good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, in words one, words one equal to R A dot split within the parentheses, you mentioned a small r. What is the use for that one, sir? Small r. This r is just to say the compiler or the, the Python that uh, what is there after r is a regular expression. Okay. In this okay, code. Thank you. Uh, and sir, what is the significance of plus here? Repetition. If you give only W, okay. see if you, I am removing W and I am running it, you will get similar result. Why? But yeah, not similar result. Yeah, in these places you have found, you know, some uh, blank characters. Right, you can see. It. So, what uh, this means, this means it will split whenever it will get a single non-alphabet, understand? But if I give plus, then it will consider multiple non-alphabets. So multiple spaces are there, okay? okay. So this, this has happened here, you know, there is actually multiple spaces. Understood, sir. So it is split at three times, yeah. Okay, Good. thank you. So let's move forward. So yeah, one understand. thing I should uh, tell you, this is a list actually. Okay, you can understand by this, uh, you know, there is other way also, but uh, just to show you the trick, if you don't want to you know, print this uh, long uh, list of words, you can do it like this, you know, only first ten uh, you want to see. Then number of words and character. So this is sometimes uh, you know, nowadays it is. I don't think how much it is used. But previously it is. It was also used uh, in many cases as a feature. That is how many number of words are there or characters are there in a sentence. Okay. If your sentences are very you know common, then it can be a feature. Okay. So usually uh, okay. So we can uh, simply do it like this. Word underscore 
count equal to we just calculate length of how many words are there right so first we do a type conversion str is the you, know, you can say type converter we have text which is converted to simple string python string type all right so you can see in the help it is coming if i put it click here you can see it was coming just before okay so it is uh, by the way it is a python uh, string type okay so then dot split okay so we want to split the string based on say white space so we can give a white space here also as well okay so run it okay instead of uh, you know using another cell i'm just uh, putting it here itself so it will print uh, so there is actually 33 words in the sentence or in the text okay there is multiple sentence i should not call it as sentence in the text sir can you please repeat uh, this import regular expression line number seven i can't follow sir. Uh, see don't uh, <laughs> push me every time in the back then it will be very hard to continue oh, okay, uh, sir. in the end we can discuss because we, i think we will have uh, some time then to you know, come back to this code and uh, again discuss. But as you have asked, I am telling you this capital W here in the regular expression, capital W means not alphabet. Okay. So split where, wherever there is a not alphabet or non alphabet uh, character based on that. What we split? We split text. Okay. So these two parameters we passed to this split function. Okay. So split function uh, splits it based on non alphabets. I think it is clear, right? Sir, in so, line number nine, if I'm removing this str function, then only then only I'm then only then also I'm getting this uh, thirty three as word count. You can get because the text is uh, you can say it is uh, written in three times uh, in a column, uh, quotes. So it is already a string, but. Uh, to you know we write it uh, sometimes you know when we re read the data from some file uh, and other sources it sometimes happens that you know text is uh, may not be in form of a string okay okay so to avoid such uh, errors unexpected you know exceptions we okay. Will. okay thank you next if we want to calculate the number of characters okay same thing I'm uh, putting here. Character count equal to simply length of the text. Okay. Okay. So in our text, there is 170 characters. Pardon? So you dot split function what you in equation number nine dot split your, function you know your voice is uh, not uh, you know, uh, recognizable it is very low so dot split function blank is parent split function in split Why function you, in a nine, huh? Yes. yes. There is nothing. There, this, there is no dot. Okay. You see, there is no dot. Okay. It is a space I have given. So based on space, it should uh, split it. Okay. Yes, sir. So next is how we can clean our, you know, um, text so first thing will come is how we can remove apostrophes okay so because uh, if uh, you keep them um, it, at the time of analysis it some somewhere it will be written you are 
somewhere it is written like this i say should not some in, a, in some other sentence in the uh, data set it, it will be written as should not separately so it will be you know a problem to recognize them as something okay so that is one of the purpose of uh, removing this apostrophes okay so how we can do uh, uh, now remove this apostrophe there is different ways of doing it one of the way is uh, <clears throat> you know by doing uh, uh, using regular expression okay <clears throat> so okay okay sorry before we go for that another uh, issues comes that is uh, you know there is uh, some words which are joined together you can see pinkish blue see it usually happens when you you know do to it uh, in a comment review uh, and all these uh, places usually you will find it is quite common to write you know multiple words together like this okay so how to split that okay so let's see that one first because we're already speaking about regular expression so split attach what so again, uh, we need to you know, import the RE, that is the regular expression uh, uh, direct uh, sorry, package. But uh, as I have done it here, so I'm not writing that line. Okay. So, this a clean text. Uh, uh, okay, we we'll write words two. Okay. Similar variable name will help us later. Okay. <clears throat> Equal to. Say so this is a single liner. You will understand. Yeah. Join. Re. Dot. Find all. So. Here, uh, from here I can tell you. Forget about this part. Okay. This part. Okay. You. R e dot find all, find all is a function which search or which finds all the occurrence of a given regular expression in the text. Clear? So in find all, find all is a function, we will give a regular expression. Okay. So see, right now I'm not writing this R. Somebody was asking me that uh, why this R is there. Okay, <laughs> even if I don't give R, it doesn't matter. It will also work. Sorry, yeah, I'm doing some mistake. Regular expression A to Z. If I if I want to write, I should write like this. In so, uh, sir, what it, it will A to it will find R yeah. dot find all. R e dot find uh, all. Yeah. Yes. What it does, sir? See, uh, find all is a function, okay? It finds, it finds all appearance of a pattern in a given text or string. You can see when the help is coming here, find all function, first parameter is pattern. Pattern means here, the regular expression. Then the second parameter is string. On which string you want to find? That you give. And by default, flags are zero. So uh, we are not providing zero. Why, sorry, flag. So <clears throat> understand, flag is optional here. Yeah, but sir, one yeah. argument you are passing there is in syntax it is showing. Uh, also, one yes. is by default zero, but two two arguments you should pass. I didn't understand uh, what. See, yes, I'm sir, telling pat you. pattern dot if string. You, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, if you want to search something you need two things first one is what you want to search and where you want to search correct okay yeah so pattern is what you want to search and okay. string is the place where you are going to search understand okay, okay. thank you yeah. sir, sir what is yes, that yes. or a a hyphen z 
uh, when yeah. why were giving this in a list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let me tell you. <clears throat> if I want to say you search for A or B or C like this or 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 up to J. Okay. So what it will do? It will uh, you know any any of them it will find you will say yes it is here right. So it will be so long, right? A or B or C or D. So we write them in a compressed manner like this. A dash Z means A or B or C or up to or Z in, and we need to write it in box bracket. Clear? Excuse me, sir. Sorry yes. to interrupt. Can you share the live link where you are writing those codes? Because the canvas link which we got the other day does not contain these codes. The codes are not there. They only it is a template I have shared. And after this session, yeah, I will share, share the, the code as the Google Collab Live link where you are writing those codes, then we can uh, run it ourselves. <clears throat> okay, immediately if you want to run it, okay, okay, okay. I can, yeah. uh, I can have just a now minute. We the chat box. So we can run yeah, it. Yeah, I can use the chat box. Uh, let me find if I can find the chat box here. Yeah, chat is here. Okay, so every time I'm writing, I, I will share it in the chat box, all right? Yeah, it will be automatically updated, I think. You need not to share it again. Whenever we click on it, it will be automatically updated. I think so. I don't know. Um, you, you need to share it only once. This code I am pasting in the chat box every time. I think that will be good for you. You copy from the chat box and uh, you can run if you don't want to type. Yeah, okay? yeah. So then I will give a, a calf A to J. Okay. Then stop. That means what? See, this A to Z says at least one capital alphabet should be there. And this says at least the you know or this uh, word or this pattern, what I was speaking about, must be start to it. This gap means start to it, sorry. Start to it either of the capital letter from A to J, okay? And after that, you can see here, I'm giving asterisk. Asterisk means occurrence of zero to n number of times, okay? So this part will satisfy if any string starting with one capital alphabet or multiple capital alphabet, okay? If it is starting with the multiple capital alphabet, uh, then also it is uh, you know, going to be treated as a single word. Or, okay, understand? Yeah. So we have done this, then we have to, that means we have given the pattern. So next thing we have to give where it will search. So uh, give it text, okay? Let's uh, run this. So I'm forgetting a bit. I need to give it here. Okay, so that it can print. <coughs> okay, so you can see here this pinkish yes. blue. Yes. Can I repeat it once? Yes. Yeah. You can see this pinkish blue, this two word was together. In the original text. Yeah. Uh, sir, right. I say, I said, I said, sir, repeat it once. Uh, regular, regular expressions. Regular expression. You want? To, uh, okay. This part I I repeat once again. Only, only, only speak attached words, sir. Your voice is very low. Actually, let me increase volume. Uh, now tell me. Sir, uh, this expression, 
yeah repeat it once how it is working okay so see this here let me tell you by giving short example if i write a to c what does this mean right it means just a minute what does it mean it means a or b or c understand that if i write here instead of a to c i write here a to j so it goes up to r j understand so i am telling the yes, uh, you know machine that uh, in the packet and it there should be a letter or one capital letter understand then i was also saying that um, for what we are uh, searching for it can start with a to z okay if i if i forget about this asterisk you forget about this asterisk okay then i'm saying that it start with one of the capital letter but immediately it says you are in your mind it came no there can be you know multiple capital letter at the beginning i know uh, say uh, mit an so what happens yeah, people write mit in capital and uh, en or uh, whatever uh, the remaining part uh, writes in smaller small letter right so there can be word which may have multiple capital letter at the beginning right so how to write that so that can be satisfied by this asterisk so what this at asterisk means it means zero or in number of occurrence okay. understand of what whatever they are just before it clear so i have written the pattern now i am searching this pattern in the text and based on this it is going to uh, you know uh, is there any function yeah. that we could use to make it case insensitive Is the uh, case sensitive? You said. Yes, sir. And, uh, no, you have to do it using uh, regular expressions only. You can search uh, for function. Uh, at least I, in my knowledge, I don't know. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Uh, so this is one thing I have shown you. Then let's uh, move for uh, this removing apostrophes. Okay, so <clears throat> for this thing, there is you know number of ways of doing this. Uh, okay, the so first one I'm going to do is using uh, a dictionary. Uh, yeah. Sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, I'm running that line number twelve. Uh, join Ari dot final, but the output is not showing. That when it is running, no error is showing. But output no, you have you have written in this word two in the second line. Oh my God, not written. Words two. Yes, words two, right? Words two. Yeah, written. Find all. Awesome. Yeah, then. Or you write print word two, words two. That will also work. Understand? We will write print words two. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so let's. I'm sorry. Here. So first thing what I'm doing is using a dictionary. Excuse so, me, sir. Yes. So why did we write dot join in the? Um, um, okay. Okay. So that uh, will be clear if I show this. 
print length of our tool. Okay, so you can see here what happened. Sir. It is yes. uh -huh. so, yes. go ahead, sir. You got it? Uh, sir, so Every dot join is another is command for length. Length is returning what is how many characters are there in this? That means length of the word words two variable. Understand? Mm. Hmm. So the and that what it is returning the length I'm printing. So this print command uh, print function is there. Clear? Uh, okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. So using a dictionary. So in Python, I think uh, last in last demonstration you had. Uh, been familiar with uh, dictionary uh, dictionaries as you will niche dictionaries and all so let me show you in short what is the dictionary when i okay so i i am creating yeah yeah so dot dot join is actually doing what see every time it is uh, finding something it is joining with the joining is space joining is space in between the words this space this space you mean sir, sir by this way we will not be able to complete the whole session on time because there are multiple questions from the audiences yesterday also the happen this happens the same and the session was left in middle <laughs> yeah that is true so because uh, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, we can have refer afterwards also yeah 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 very important questions you can ask by stopping me otherwise you know please uh, in the end we can have you know some discussion because the important disturbs we will be uh, left yeah i understand okay okay so i'm creating a dictionary here say a post uh, okay dictionaries are creating by you know putting items in curly bracket. So there is two part uh, for each item. One part is called, uh, one part is called uh, the key. Another part is called uh, value of the key, you can say, or corresponding value to the key. Okay. So say apostrophe is S. So if there is apostrophe S, what does it mean in your text? It is usually used for is, right? So, apostrophe is a means is like that. We can have uh, uh, sometimes, yeah, re, right? Re for used for usually. Sorry, for r. Okay, so like that, uh, it can be there. So, once we have this dictionary, I'm not uh, going to make it a long right now itself. Okay, but we, we can use this dictionary to replace these appearances in the text by the corresponding value. Understand? This is the concept here. So, Sentence list equal to what we can have. We can just uh, do word two dot split. Okay. So what what will happen? Uh, it will split. Uh, okay. So what do Better to write text so that you will not be in confusion, okay? Because I'm writing a sentence list. So what will happen in this case? It will uh, not uh, this text will be splitted, okay? Mm. Then we create a list where we will 
put the new sentences or words you know, after replacing these values, abstractions and all. So for that, I'm just uh, creating uh, empty list, okay, where we'll put it, okay. Now we'll go through each word in the sent list, okay. Actually, sent list, uh, this variable name I've given <laughs> uh, wrong, make it word, okay, word list. Now it will be you know, more uh, logical variable name. Okay, so what we'll do, we will use a for loop for word in where word list. We are going to check each word in the word list, right? And again, we'll check for the whether this word belongs to this dictionary or not. Understand whether this word will is a key in the dictionary or not if it is a key then we have to replace by its value right so for <coughs> say we will replace right so replace in or better uh, you can say for key right key in where this dictionary if any of the key in the dictionary is matching with the current word then we have to replace it so we'll do word equal to word dot replace who will replace whom <laughs> this key will be replaced by this, uh, you know, dictionary value corresponding to that key. So call the dictionary here and put the value of key here. Okay. I think you understood what I have done. So replace. The key key will be what something like this abstractness, and that will be replaced by this, this is a dictionary, and this is the key. So corresponding this key here is is. So it will be replaced by is. Understand? So that's the thing. Then we will just append this to new sentence. Okay. So dot. Append. What we are append? We are going to append this word so that it can form new sentence for us, right? <clears throat> so then, see, this is a list, right? You can see new sentence is list. So we have to convert this list again back to a text. You can say, okay. So we are writing here new text so new text equal to we need to give a space before joining and between you know, joining of two words so we have given space dot join what will join will join this words which are, what are there in new sentence which is a list understand I'm sorry, I am another meeting. Okay. Then I'm we can print no, this I'm new sorry, text. Not All right. oh, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. I hope I helped you. Yeah. So Bye. you can see this. Pagal banana ke rakhi hai maine. Sabar karo. Okay, I'm sorry I had to you know, mute you all. Somebody is always uh, you know, unnecessary speaking. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. Okay. So, okay, so you, you, you are not uh, seeing the change here, right? So, okay, 
So you are, I have written here. Yes, you have I'm R, yes. R-E. Okay, so I'm just uh, changing it uh, here to. Yeah, it's fine, but yeah, tell me, what were you asking? Who is this? Yeah, I shared your Indian sheet. Oh my God. Which answer? Even I didn't fill up that form. I don't know. Like, I just share you open that. Who is uh, Isma? Please, uh, you mute yourself. I just yourself. opened that thing and I shared you. Which was it? I don't know. It's showing in your name. 631 P. Yeah. Even I didn't submit it, this one. All right. So I have done the change here. What's what's what written here? Say? It's attend. Okay, I just we just have to write our name and nothing. They are giving a. So you can see here you are became like this. It's right? at, yes, it's an attendance sheet. Well, who is this? It's for today. Uh, please uh, give me a minute. Uh, Isman, write your name. Hmm. And then write your email ID and then write today's uh, eight. It's a tendency. You just have to write your name and ID. And fr no, Banaras no. Hindu University. Yeah, they messed up this time. Which option one? There was nothing at such option one. Zero to zero to option one. No, it's a date. Open that and click on eight. Eight okay, February. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. I will share you. It's an attendance sheet. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So you can see here what happened. This uh, you are, you know, uh, Apostrophe is, uh, is replaced. Then here but you can see here. Not, don't feel like, like I was busy. I told you. Then Apostrophe is there, there huh? right? So we can just uh, take this. Here and we can add to our dictionary. Say not. Okay. So run this. Run this. So you can see it is coming. Should not. Right. So better to have a space added here. So it will come with the space. Okay. So just try to do it. Do it. Okay. So you are you can see it is uh, this upstop is uh, replaced by R. Here this uh, you know upstop N. Okay. So N upstop T was there. So I can add here the whole thing N upstop. Okay. Okay, so you can see you should not is uh, separated, right? So <clears throat> this is what uh, I know uh, the replacements uh, replacement of apostrophe is uh, okay. But there is another way using a regular expression. What I was uh, telling you, right? So just a minute. Using regular expression <coughs> okay so what we have to do we have to here create some phrases okay like phrase uh, equal to do re dot substitute Sub function, you know, it is it means substitute. It needs minimum two parameters, and one parameter will be substituted by another parameter. 
okay so when i write re dot sub it also takes a pattern okay so you can see you know in the health pattern that means you already know what is pattern is the, the regular expression i have to write then uh, replace what i want to replace then the string with what i want to replace right so just uh, try it say yeah give a regular expression uh, again say in our sentence we have uh, re right so we can just uh, write here uh, sash uh, this is a uh, you know, single quote re so if something in the sentence or in the text is matching with abstract is re then we want to replace that okay so we will replace it <coughs> okay so what will be the value we will replace that with r okay where in send phrase here it's uh, again okay so uh, this is the logic but now you can uh, ask me that uh, why you are doing this because I'm going to put this in a function, okay? Which will do the work for us. So in Python, the functions are written like this. Def means the definition of the function, okay? Then the function, what we need to pass here, we want to pass, some phrase understand that means one word at a time we are going to pass okay we are calling it as phrase okay <clears throat> so what this function will return it will return the new phrase okay so what i will do say new text equal to i call if i call this by text you see what happens okay so in there our original text what we had okay run it once okay yeah now i just uh, i need to print it new text right okay so you can see again uh, it is uh, replaced you uh, you know r this thing is replaced by r okay so simply if i want to add a space before it uh, so i can uh, rewrite the page like this and uh, there is other way also uh, this is the simplest thing as we are doing it uh, hard coded thing okay so now if we want to do it for this also i have to just simply uh, write another line okay that is n sorry in abstracts uh, sorry uh, single quote Right, or app stop, yeah, app stops, you can say T will be replaced by not right now. If I run this, see you got here should not okay. <laughs> so, this is the way we and how we can replace the uh, app stops uh, with uh, using uh, regular expressions, okay. Now, do some. Uh, more uh, you know, fun things. One of the okay. So now, yeah, there many of you uh, should have a question that uh, if this is the way, there is a huge number of app stops possible in English. How we can uh, you know handle them? If you want to do it manually, you will have to write a long code or uh, even uh, you, know, you may need uh, uh, to if you are using dictionary uh, very big dictionary you have to write 
but uh, yeah, there is definitely a solution for it. We can just uh, use construction uh, con constructions, which is a package in Python. So, sorry. Using Python library. Okay, so definitely import. What do you want to import? You want to import contractions. Okay. <clears throat> Just uh, let me run it and see what it is, uh, what error it is giving. Okay. There is no module name contractions. I think there is a spelling mistake. No, it is correct. Okay. If it is saying like this, we can do another thing. We can just uh, download. I think it may not be there. Okay, uh, with the collab, so I can download it here or install it here. Okay, yeah, sorry, pip install contractions. Let's see what is going to happen. <clears throat> okay, so what I have done? Okay, so I just uh, installed it. We have installed constructions. Now I import. Okay, it is imported. Now, I just uh, need uh, to create a new list where I will store the new sentence. Uh, so I can say ex expanded <coughs> words equal to I empty string. Okay. Now we have to use a for loop for to, uh, sorry, word in. We are using say text dot split. Okay. So previously we have already split it many times. You can use them also. Like uh, no, let's see a good one. Say um, uh, this one was a also good split. Okay. So what one we can use? Or we can use words simply. Okay. There is no modification. So in that case, we don't need to write it. Okay. I'm just uh, commenting it. All right. So the same thing. Words, uh, we, are, we are already having a variable which holds text dot split. Right. So that we can do. Uh, okay. So just a minute. Indentation we have to maintain, otherwise it will give error. Okay. <clears throat> now, what we are going to do, we are going to append every word by fixing it. Okay. So there is a uh, function in this package, constructions package is called fix. Okay. So we can do it like this expanded words dot append what constructions dot call the fix function and pass the word okay 
then we know what we have to do because uh, this expanded words are basically list of words correct so we have to join them together to represent them again back as a sentence okay or if you just uh, what i'm telling if you just want to see this let me show you okay if i run this you can see it is just list of words right so if i just want to you know uh, get back the sentences then we can just, just uh, do the same thing i had done uh, previously using join yeah so i'm just copying and pasting it here okay understand so if i run this now so you can see it is not going to print anymore because uh, after this uh, there is some new uh, some new codes other codes in that case it will not uh, print anything okay so this is the thing i just i posted it in the uh, chat box you can copy the code from there okay next is if you want to calculate average length, if you want to calculate the average length of the sentence, so I'm just uh, using a, a function, uh, writing a function, did average, okay, first we are going to do average word length. Okay, so what I have to pass, we have to pass some sentence, right? Then we can do one thing that is words equal to this uh, sentence dot place split, right? So that uh, the sentence will be split into words, right? So, sorry. right we can do this then we know previously we have already calculated uh, the total length so average word length means what the word length by the total length right so total length is what sum of length of all the words okay so this equal to sorry there is a sum function in Python. So what we are summing up? Length of each word, right? So length, length function you already know. It, it gives you back the length of a word, okay? So we want to iterate these words, right? So for iterating, you just write here the for loop. For word in words uh, okay so this will give basically the total length that means summation of length of all the words then okay sorry average what uh, then we have to calculate the number of words there okay so number of words equal to what the length of words Right, it will give you the number of words. Next, what we can do? We can say we have to both the values, so we can simply divide total length by number of words. It will give us average length of a word. Right, so we can just return what total length by sorry number of words okay now call this function so let's say average lane equal to i'm just calling this function and what i am sending here i'm going to send uh, original text okay and then 
I will print it. Okay. So you can see the average length of the words in the sentence is this. Okay. So I pasted it in the chat box. You can check it out. Okay. Then, yeah, another important thing is removing single characters from the from the sentence. You know, most of the times it uh, we need to uh, you know do it because number seven by mistake we put in a single character which may not be required for analysis. Okay, so. The single characters we can uh, remove by writing some code. Okay, so removed single characters. So let's write a function here. Remove single care. We are sending the sentence here. Okay. So we do the renew text. So this time you can see we instead of list, I'm just taking an empty stream. Okay. So I know, by removing after removing the single characters, we will just uh, create the uh, new text by uh, concatenating. All right. So first thing is. Hmm. words equal to sign sentence dot split right then for word in words if length of word is greater greater than one right if it is equal to or less than less than one is not possible if it is uh, equal to one then we are going to ignore but if it if it is greater than one then we we are going to concatenate it okay so if it is uh, greater than one then we are concatenate these two new text okay so new text will become new text equal to new text uh, in python in previous day you have already you have seen that plus means concatenation so i'm going to concatenate first a space and after that space i'm going to concatenate the word okay so this for loop will give me all the words, excluding those with, which are having uh, length equal to one. Okay, so that's it. So we'll as this a function, we have to return. What will return? The new text will return, all right? Now let's call this say new text equal to this I signed our original text okay and we print the new text. So you can say cloud number nine was there, this nine is vanished, right? So because it is a, it was a single character one, okay? Then uh, at the end, I think there was some single character I had kept, if you see the original text, uh, oh no, no, I have no, I had not kept here. Okay, by the way, if I keep something like, uh, you know, B or some J I'm putting here, okay. 
so you can see you know that single character is uh, not there anymore after s and i had put it a b so the b is removed okay so this is another you know uh, headache you can say at the time of uh, cleaning text if we have single characters which uh, you may need to remove you can do it so i pasted the code in the chat box you can uh, just uh, check um, find it just a okay so next thing is uh, yeah this thing uh, we can do in a single liner also because when we will search you know on net for these codes most of the time you will find that uh, things are written in single lines okay so this code this whole code we can write in a single line like this okay this equal to we want to space and to have a space between you know every concatenation dot join so join is kind of concatenation it works like concatenation okay you put a list here you know if, if i put something in you know box bracket it is a list now how this list is creating you can see here say w for w in text dot split right and if the length of w that is len in bracket w is going to be greater than one okay so yeah python this is the beauty of python code if you understand definitely okay you can see the same thing happened now normalizing or convert to lower case so after doing all this thing what we will need we will need to convert everything to a particular case okay otherwise what is the problem why do we need it say in some sentence you are writing that uh, and the, the sky is blue okay but somebody written the sky spelling here you can see the sky spelling capital s k y it can be like this somebody can spell it like this somebody can spell it like this or somebody can spell it like this now if you don't <coughs> make these characters or alpha you know characters in the uh, text or words in the uniform case then these will be treated as separate word or different words okay and your <coughs> probability distribution for these words will be just distributed among you know its different uh, aliases okay so we need to overcome this so it is very simple to overcome we just uh, convert everything to lowercase or uppercase whatever we like to have to see basically right it is going to work so let's have a function def convert to lower so uh, you can think that why i'm uh, writing everything is a uh, function form it is a good practice okay if you want to reuse your code you should write it uh, you know in the function form Every any time you know from any other line you can call the function and you can have it. You need not to write every time your code again and again. So I'm just writing it uh, in a single liner. So words equal to word dot lower. So lower is the function which converts anything uh, or any word or any string to lowercase for word in words okay so yeah this will be a list for doing this 
then it will return. What it will return? It will return this list, definitely. Okay. Uh, okay. So here I have to pass words, right? Yeah. Now our uh, time to call this function. Okay. So we already have words previously. This variable is there, right? So we can simply write it like this. Uh, so in lower equal to so what variable we already have so i'm not uh, again uh, you know just creating it all right so you can see everything is became small you know in lower case okay So I'm just uh, putting it in the chat box, as you say, okay. Next is the process that is reading the stop words, okay? Because uh, we don't want to have the stop words in our uh, vocabulary because it will unnecessarily increase our vocabulary vocabulary and it will basically you know create uh, some other problems also you know by uh, if it is attached to some other word that word again going to be treated as a different word so better to clean them up okay so for doing this first thing is that uh, we have to import stuff words Okay, NLTK is have a list of stop words. Okay, so from NLTK dot purpose, I think I'm writing it here, yeah. import what? Stop words. All right. So if I run this, see what is going to happen. Okay, so it uh, it is imported. Okay, nice. So I can uh, sir, create I a variable. Say, yeah, sure. Uh, sir, uh, for languages except English, suppose I am create. I have a different language. Suppose yeah. uh, Bengali yeah, yeah, yeah. or Assamese and all. So I want yeah. to not depend on libraries. Like the previous tasks that you have shown, we, which you are not really dependent on the libraries, we did it on our own. So for that case, would you please? Many things are there, many things are there where you, you may not uh, be dependent or, on libraries, but right. you know, when you will do an advanced task, then you, you will uh, like to have some library, like you know, a collection of all app stops in, right. uh, in, in English. So. Hmm. Would you like to write uh, a dictionary of all laptops? Yes. Definitely, no, you will like to have a library for it. Yeah. So, like this, it depends on the tasks that whether you can simply write few lines of code and solve the problem. And mm -hmm. uh, instead of writing the code, if it is a big task and codes are already available, libraries are available, better to call the library, right? Yes, yes, sir. That is the thing. Yes, sir. But, like, sir, uh, the same thing. Yeah. The same task, if uh, like uh, I'm, I'm want, to, I'm working on text on low resource languages. So um, if you show, if you show the same task in a uh, something which we don't have a library for, it will be very helpful for me then, sir. So again, uh, you know, I don't uh, work on any uh, local languages or regional languages. Yes. But uh, yeah, if you if you can uh, mail me separately. And okay, you give sir. me some overview. Okay, sir. Some Thank overview you, sir. of your problem. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I have imported it. Now, question is that what is there? Right? Many of you are thinking that what are the words are there in this list? Correct? Right? So uh, first thing is that in the stopover. There is stop words from different languages. Okay, 
you can go to the help of stop words you will find for which languages it is, it is there okay but uh, as we are uh, speaking about english so i am just uh, creating a variable stops okay which will or i can say stop in english okay <clears throat> so i have to extract the stop words for english okay so stop words dot words for which language i am writing english right so next okay i have already imported so let bring this code here okay engl right so now if you want to see what are there in english what are the english top word now we will get a you know predefined list let's run it so what it is saying resource this resource top word is not found you import nltk nltk we have already imported and then you download stop words so let's do it okay so here i'm putting it let's see what is going to happen yeah so you can see these are the stop word in english okay if you want to say how many stop words are there let's uh, try One seventy nine stop words are there in English. All right. So let me post it in the chat box if you are using it. Okay. Now. If you want to count, uh, if you want, to, oh, sir, uh, there yes, is a uh, there is a library called Punk Word Tokenizer in MNTK. Uh, yeah. When I'm importing this library in Jupyter Notebook, it is not working. It is showing the error. You look into the error. It will be written what you need to download or uh, you know some command will be given. To read the error properly, like I you have seen, I have done. Okay. 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 So first, I want to count the number of sorry <coughs> stop words. Okay, in my text. So for that thing again, uh, right, Dave, count stop words. What I have to pass? I have to pass sentence. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> then. First thing is, if I have assigned a sentence, then we have to do this thing, right? You have to split it. Words equal to sentence dot split. Okay. Then we create a list, empty list. Okay. So all my stop words in my in my sentence I will store here. Now for W in words, if you want to see the word, you can print it or you can finally print it. Uh, depends on you. So okay, sorry. Now you have to check that if W belongs to the stop words or not, right? So if W 
in so what variable i had uh, created here stop eng right so stop words of english if no w is in my stop word list then i will list it with the okay stop so I write it in my stop i you know uh, I like to give uh, some sensible variable name. Okay. <clears throat> so this dot append, what it will append? It will append double. That means if this W current word from my word list, if it is common or if it belongs to the English top word uh, list, then we are collecting, uh, collecting that in our my stop list okay so after doing this append we we'll simply we can return sorry we can return but length of my stop because our target is calculating number of stop words in my sentence right so total stocks equal to this let's say in the, the original text okay in print this okay number total number of stocks right so, So in my text, what we have, uh, well, what we are using, that is having twelve stop words. So I put it as code here. You can copy it. Okay. <coughs> now uh, I'm just uh, taking one minute to write a uh, you know, single liner code for this. Okay. Print. I'm just uh, want to say I just pray, uh, want to print the stop words in my sentence. Okay, so say my the same code can be written in a single line. Say w for w in words if not in Okay, sorry, I am just going to print those words which are not stop words. Okay, by removing the stop words. Okay, so I should not uh, name it uh, my stop. So stop removed should I should write here stop removed. Okay, so if it is not in that uh, stop word list, what we have that is stop underscore ng. The English top words, right? Now, if I run this, so okay, okay, okay. If you can see here, if not, then again W in stop word. Okay, okay, sorry, not I've written here. Yeah, my yeah. sure. So, uh, I uh, will print this. Yeah. So you can see the stop words are, I think, uh, being removed. U is not removed because the U upstop is R is uh, here. So you can see if I use that one, U R was split, right? By remove uh, replacing the f stops so what was the name of that uh, let me find out from my previous uh, things uh, yeah yeah that we had okay so let's uh, I, I just uh, want to run this once okay no it is word expand word no 
it is sending different word actually auto replacement <coughs> yeah so this one let me rename say new text 2 okay so i have new text 2 where we <coughs> Okay, so instead of this, new text two dot split. Okay. Okay, R is removed. R is a stop word. U is not a stop word. Okay, so yeah. R is and all these things are removed. Should. I think okay. the issue is with the case, sir. Yes. The, the issue is with case, we have to lower case it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that can be, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let me call that function also here. So, to lower, I had a function. There it is. So, after doing Control D. I don't know how it will work or not. Too much of concatenation I'm doing. Yeah, you is removed. Thank you, thank you. You, you have noticed the correct thing. Okay, so yeah, so you have uh, given another example that why we need to convert everything to a certain case. Okay, so okay, let me share it. So then comes removing punctuations. Okay. So again, we need to import the punctuations uh, Hello, sir. in English language. Hello, yes. Sir. Uh, yes, little uh, man. Can you show the example of remove? Can you show the uh, example of remove punctuation uh, using punct or tokenizer? Yeah, all the all the things are there. You know, I have the, uh, more demonstrations. Okay, another two day I'm going to Spain, so I will cover okay. slowly. All right. Yeah. So it is done. Then remove punctuation. If uh, how we can do it again? The, we have some tag is in Python is called stream. Okay. So in port stream. Let's see what is happening. Yeah, it is worked. So now if I just do if I just want to see what are the punctuations are there in English. Right. So we just print stream dot Punctuation. Okay. Run it. See, it is showing you the list. Okay. So when you remove punctuation, basically all these symbols will be removed from your text. Right. So. So we can simply write a function called uh, remove punk uh, punctuation. Okay. This. Okay. Remove punk. We are going to pass words. Right. Then let's create a table. What we will put in the table? str dot make trans. Okay, so sorry, table equal to table equal to str 
str is object uh, to the you know, string class you can see here yeah. str object you can see here okay and uh, detail of uh, metrans also you can uh, see here okay so what are the things i have to pass here is empty comma empty oh, sorry that means replace with empty okay and string dot punctuation that means the list i have to say the list of punctuation i have to pass okay means if it finds anything uh, you know which is uh, which, which symbol is belongs to this it will later replace okay so let's strip stripped equal to w dot and translate there is a easier version of doing this okay but as a, there is a very short phase of time so i'm doing this one w in words okay now return string okay so punk removed equal to i am calling this with what i have to send i have to send words right so how we can get words uh, here is just uh, do words equal to this i'm sending words here in print understand what is the benefit of uh, sorry what is the benefit of uh, writing functions <laughs> you can control c is not working yeah okay so you can see uh, this is the function part and this is uh, what uh, you know some processing on the text i have done yes that is why the matrix method uh, takes two empty strings instead of one why you have mentioned two empty there. I have shown you na? detail. I have shown you na? here. You can see what are x, what are y, and z. Achha, achha. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. So next is uh, number of numerics and all. Uh, this is another important thing actually. Uh, an important thing that is uh, know, recognizing the numerics in your text. You can say here, uh, cloud number nine, this nine is written in word. Now, if we don't uh, you know, do anything with this, again, it will you know, give you a problem and you will develop your model, right? Because somebody will write uh, nine, somebody will write any nine, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, if you are uh, removing simply the, um, what can I say, numerics from the text, then uh, who have written nine is as digit, is and from that text, this nine will be removed. But if somebody else have written the number, but they have written any, in that case, that is not going to be removed, okay? So how to, you know, maintain the integrity of the, or you can say synchronization of the, uh, data set okay so we need to follow something either we convert uh, all you know digit to word say n i n e like uh, so that it is uh, going to solve the problem if you if, even if you want to remove the digits it is not going to be removed at the time and if somebody else have written n i n e it is going to be synchronized with the other text okay 
So I think uh, you understand uh, what is the problem if there is uh, the numerics, okay? So first thing is that I like to count the number of numerics, okay? So get count of the numbers, I'm passing the sentence, words equal to instead of doing all this thing i can just call all, all these right uh, okay sorry in that case i will put sentence here all right so <coughs> Okay. Now we do count, uh, you know, a variable and set it to zero. And every time we will get a digit, we will increase this count. Okay. Now for W words, if, sorry, if W dot is digit. Okay, so is digit is a function which uh, returns true if uh, you know to which it, you have attached it. That is a digit. If the uh, digit, uh, you can say number because uh, W can be ninety nine also, or it can be nine also. Okay, so uh, digits. If there is digits, it will this is digit will return true. Okay, so if it is returns true, we will just uh, increment the count by one so count plus equal to one okay then what do i do return it now number of number equal to Call this function and send your text. Okay, even you can uh, take this uh, this text. Okay, and print. Okay, so in our text there was only one number which is nine. So it is returning us now. So one part uh, we have understood that is digit uh, use of is digit and finding out uh, numbers how to find out uh, uh, numbers in the text. Now our target is replacing sir, it. Okay. Yes. I uh, sir, I wanted to know like how long will it go because I have one meeting at eight thirty. So, okay, we are already beyond time. So I can do one thing. From here onward, actually, some very interesting things was they are still remaining. Yeah. I don't want to miss it. So, so that is why. Can we continue tomorrow? So can we have a session for this on Saturday? Because yesterday also something we have missed yeah. and today also. Right. They are to move my demonstration again. Okay. So day after tomorrow. I think we can have one extra session on Saturday if we miss on something. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. These are the some basic things. Uh, sir, sir, uh, are things. it better if you please share us the, share the Jupyter yes. notebook file of this one, which is completed in total? I didn't understand what you said. 
actually what i want is the whole campaign uh, you please share us on the google drive so that we can practice